Hello and welcome everybody to our uh, the Redox Breakthrough, our Discover ASEA presentation tonight. Uh, my name is Bart Cotter. I'm uh, grateful to be a, a, an ASEA Triple Diamond, my wife and I, with my wife Melissa and I. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of a rundown exactly what the agenda is tonight uh, that we're going to go through. We've got, uh, we've got a great lineup. You're going to learn and hear about some pretty amazing uh, information. First of all, after, after my little introduction here uh, and going through a couple things, you're going to hear from Dr. Wayne Pickstone. He's going to talk about the introduction. He's going to introduce you to the re redox biochemistry. Um, also, then you're going to hear from uh, the amazing Julie Watts. Uh, she's going to hear her story and her product, um, and she's going to talk about the product information, a little bit about the technology. And then I'm going to be talking about the, the company, the company of ASEA, the timing that we're currently in, and the business model that we're involved with. So, uh, so it's going to be kind of a whole wrap up that will give you a good overview. But as we start tonight, um, I want to just kind of run over, run through several ideas here. You know, the, the fact is there could be different reasons why you've joined uh, this webinar tonight. And I'd like you to just kind of take a look at this. And in fact, you might even discover that there might be a reason you hadn't even thought of. <laughs> um, the first reason might be perhaps you're dealing with a health challenge, a health crisis, uh, a health issue. Um, and you're looking for some answers. And I believe that it, you are definitely in the right place if that's the reason why you're here. Uh, the second reason is, is that we all know people that we care about, people that we love. And if you had something that you thought could really help them, would you tell them about it? I certainly hope so. Perhaps you're here to learn about a technology that could help someone that you can care, that you care about, someone that's dealing with perhaps something even really uh, challenging. The next thing is uh, maybe you'd like to um, maybe you'd like to look or feel younger. Do you know anybody who would like to look, you know, 23% younger in 28 days? <laughs> if you do, uh, you're in the right place. We're going to show you some before and after uh, photos um, and uh, of that. So let's see, I noticed someone just mentioned to talk up a little bit. So I'll work on talking up just a little bit louder and hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Maybe you can let me know if that's not the case. So certainly um, anti-aging benefits, you're gonna see some incredible results. Hey, the next one is athletic performance. Um, you know, I guess the question might be, what would an athlete do to have a competitive edge? Uh, interesting, just about anything. We can show athletes how to have an incredible competitive edge without, uh, and do it completely legally and enhance their endurance, their recovery, their mental stamina. But you know, on the, on the idea of athletic performance, I like to think of this as even having an active lifestyle. So if you know people, or if you're someone that wants to have an active lifestyle, we always want to get the most out of our day with what we do, even if it's just playing with our kids or grandkids, whatever that might be. So um, another way of looking at the athletic performance. Now I've got this circled here because this was certainly one of the most important things to my wife and I. We've been involved in the health and wellness profession for uh, myself about 25, 26 years, and uh, my wife Melissa as well. So we were pretty healthy when we heard about ASEA, but but. Uh, the proactive approach to health. In fact, nowadays with nowadays with the uh, with the challenges and the crisis that we're all um, that we're all in, I think we're all looking for ways to main, make sure that we can improve our health and keep it to a place where we can deal with any challenge or crisis that might come our way. I remember a doctor years ago. He's made a quote um, was so profound. He said, "May you never know what you're preventing." You know, the time to deal with a health challenge or health crisis is before you get it, not after you're truly well into it. And so uh, a proactive approach to health is so vitally important. Now, the other one I'm gonna, uh, I've got this circle too, because for, for my wife and I, this was something that we were looking for. We were looking for a vehicle where we could create an income for our family. And I know this, this is so important. And I guess I would just ask, you know, any one of you that's on this call, um, you know, do you have room in your bank account for more? <laughs> and if you, uh, and if you do, I, I would truly encourage you to keep an open mind to the possibility because ASEA has, uh, the way that they've marketed this product, uh, instead of paying millions of dollars in advertising, they simply pay us for word of mouth advertising. And the truth is, is we've got a very big story to tell. People need to know about this technology and ASEA will compensate you for word of mouth marketing. So, you know, you might want to just take a look and think, well, you know, what, are you, what is your number one issue? What is your number two issue? You know, what is your reason? I think they're all pretty important, quite frankly, but um, those are some of the things to think about. Now, the other thing I would encourage you to do is to get a pen and paper out tonight and really take some notes and um, 
you know, really think, because I, I believe that we'll answer your questions. We certainly want to make sure that your questions do get answered. Now, I mentioned, uh, I, I just mentioned that when we heard about ASEA, uh, we were kind of in, at a very interesting place in our life. We had gone through some challenges. I don't know if anybody else here on this call has, uh, has challenges, um, <laughs> problems, um, you know, stresses in their life. You know, we all do is the fact. And the, the truth is a lot of people are dealing with some pretty uh, serious challenges right now. Now, I would just encourage you as I kind of go through this will to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10, what your life looks like right now if you're looking at balance. So uh, for example, uh, I'd been involved with another company for about 19 years, happened to be involved with, with uh, network distribution. That company, I did very, very well with that company. However, that company sort of lost its way and I found myself in a very awkward place where I still had money coming in, but I didn't believe in the company and the people who were behind it. And so I totally didn't feel satisfied. It created some stress. Uh, also, I had dealt with some, uh, some legal challenges that j had just gone on and on uh, and that had presented some serious financial challenges. Uh, that put, us, put me in a place where I just didn't feel like personal growth was the place I just felt stuck in my life. And so on a scale of one to 10, I was probably a six. And again, I would just kind of encourage you to sort of rate where you're at on, this, on, this, on these scales as well because it's important to kind of assess where we're at in our lives. Um, in terms of health, like I said, we had been involved with uh, in the health and wellness industry profession for some time. So, hey, I wasn't doing bad, but you know what? Stress can really bring on some challenges too. So uh, there were some little things that were cropping up. Family life was pretty good, but uh, all those things were affected. Fortunately, I had, um, I've been with the lady of my dreams. Melissa's a, an incredible angel and, and our relationship was good, even though we were, fighting through some of the challenges and obstacles. Um, social life, you know, when you've got problems in your life, um, sometimes you just don't want to talk to other people because it seems like life is just right in your face. And uh, the only thing that, can, that there is to talk about is, are the problems and the challenges. So that certainly could have been better and uh, obviously affected the attitude. Now, the whole point of this example is if this was a wheel and it was driving and it was rolling down the road, how well would this wheel roll? It'd be a pretty bumpy ride, wouldn't it? And so, you know, it's good to kind of assess where would you like to have more balance in your life? Where, where do you need to have, have more? If things are great, you know, we're either living, we're either growing or we're dying. So uh, kind of an interesting thing to take a look and say, all right, well, where could I use more, more balance in my own life? The fact is, is that this is a chance to rewrite your story, which is exactly what we've done uh, with ASEA. It was absolutely a godsend um, when we heard about this. And I'll talk a little bit about about that story before. But with that said, kind of laying the stage of where we're, where we're, uh, where we're at today, where you're at, I should say, and, and uh, the presenters today, I would like to just turn the time over and introduce um, our next speaker, which is Dr. Wayne Pickstone. Dr. Pickstone is a doctor of Chinese medicine. He's a naturopath, a herbologist, a nutritionist. He's a mindset coach. He's been a wealth coach and also a business coach to some uh, to some very successful people as well as athletes. Dr. Pickstone has done over 30 years. He's been over 30 years in the wellness industry. He's had over 100,000 consultation, consultations. And I would say Wayne's the, the guy that, uh, that people often go to when, um, when they haven't been able to find answers anywhere else. Uh, so with that said, Wayne, um, I know that you've been a mentor to, uh, to the wellness industry. You've been a keynote speaker at some very large um, events and, and uh, as well. So highly respected. So Wayne, what I'd like to do now is I'll go ahead and stop my screen share and give you the ability to, uh, to share your screen and I'll let you take it over from there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So everyone should see the screen now. Okay. Thank you, Bart. Thank you very much. And uh, where are we going to start with is probably because of what's happening around the world today. Um, what I'm about to say is something that basically started around about 10 to 15 years ago. And these are some of the things that I used to talk about back then, whether it would be um, um, on a stage with a thousand people, 500 people, or just one-on-one -on -one in terms of within the clinic. So we are in a crisis and we can actually feel it now a little bit more than maybe what I'm about to say. But yeah, the Western world is in a crisis and 
This particular quote, I think, really rings true now. Health in the near future will be more sought after than money, gold, real estate, or any kind of material wealth. The governments of the Western world do not know where they are going to put their Alzheimer's and chronic disease patients of the future. And at present, we're actually seeing that, like when I said this 10 to 15 years ago, it wasn't as relevant or wasn't as easily seen, I suppose is the best way of saying it. But today we're seeing it all the time with regards to new dementia blocks being put beside nursing homes. They're popping up everywhere. And this was 10 years ago, the governments of the Western world, they actually knew that they didn't know where they were gonna put their Alzheimer's chronic disease patients of the future. So we need solutions fast. And this is a webinar that I, I'm sorry, a seminar I went to um, before Christmas. And these were some of the statistics if we're just looking at Australia. Now I know we've got people from all around the world, but think of these statistics are basically the same no matter where we live. So 50% of Australians now suffer from a chronic disease. 20% of the population of all ages have chronic pain. 13% suffer from arthritis. All chronic conditions are on the rise, like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, dementia. And it's interesting, unfortunately, depression is the number one disease of the Western world, the number one disease. 63% of Australians over 18 years are now overweight or unfortunately obese. And this is not just an aging issue, it affects all of us, unfortunately. And if they say, if nothing changes, the statistics that's happening now, if nothing changes by the year 2060, one out of three children will be diagnosed with the ASD, ADD on the spectrum disorder, unfortunately, if nothing changes. So what I'm going to go through now with regards to the next part of the, uh, uh, this, the, the Zoom presentation tonight, this is thousands and thousands, thousands of research hours and seminars, genetic research and PubMed research that I went through to put this together. And what I really mean by that as well is that I was a huge skeptic about what I'm about to talk about. I actually went down a huge rabbit hole of research and that's what this is representing what you see in front of you now a huge rabbit hole, rabbit hole, and I nearly didn't come out. <laughs> um, the research, uh, once I started looking at the research, it just become overwhelming that if this did what it would do in clinic, it would revolutionize everything that I've ever seen with regards to the wellness industry. And it certainly did live up to exactly what I skeptically was thinking at the time because I was a huge skeptic about the product, about, the, uh, about being able to put this stuff into a bottle. So I'm sure there may be even people who are skeptical even now um, listening to this. And I don't mind skepticism. Skepticism, I think is important. Being open-minded with your skepticism is really, I think, important. And cynicism doesn't get us anywhere. So healthy skepticism, I think, is really important. It's going to allow us to uh, move forward. Do your, do your research, but please don't do as much as what I did. <laughs> um, and the interesting thing about our genetics is that our genes are acquiring trillions of new mutations every day. Now, that's not hundreds, that's not dozens, that's trillions of new mutations every single day. So we're going to go through um, five important um, aspects of today's um, Zoom uh, meeting. We're going to go through what are RSMs, where are they made, how do they decline, why haven't I heard of them, and we'll go through some science as well. So of course, they are called redox signaling molecules. Now some really important concepts to grasp um, initially. Redox signaling molecules are native to the body, and that's really important to understand. Native means that we make these things internally within us. For example, there's another word that we all know, which would be natural. Natural means that um, we need to eat or we have these things presented to us by even vitamins or natural supplements and herbs, the foods, the proteins, the water we drink. But natural also means we can be allergic to it. I've got people, for, alert, for example, who are allergic to the sun. I've got people who are allergic to water. They have to drink it through a straw. 
I've also got, and you've probably heard of people allergic to gluten and people allergic to peanuts and bee stings and all these different things or bees, um, all these different things we can be allergic to. And the interesting thing with native, when we, um, knowing that we make this internally, it means also that there is no toxicity at all. So they are bioactive, which means they are used in trillions of seconds or very quickly within our body and have no toxicity which is really important. That was one of the most important things for me to understand about this, about redox signaling molecules as well. But the big theme here is native. Like we can't grow um, an apple in our body. We can't grow um, peanuts in our body, but our body can make redox signaling molecules. And therefore, because they are native and have no toxicity, they can be used with any other product, nutrient, anything that, um, uh, that man has made, man or woman has made, we can take it as well. Now, really important to understand that redox signaling molecules, what are they not? They are not vitamins like A, B, C, D, E. They are not alkaline water. They are not minerals. They are not antioxidants, green juices, collagen. So think of anything else that we may take into our body is basically a building block. Now, building blocks are really important. We need building blocks to allow our body or ourselves to heal. And I'll go through this a little bit um, um, shortly, but really important to understand building blocks are important. They are necessary. The right ones will even help the redox signaling molecules to actually work better. So therefore, why is it important to know the difference between redox signaling molecules and building blocks? So I'll do an analogy here to help us to understand this at a deeper level. So all, everything I'm about to say happens in trillions of seconds. So you're listening to me right now um, and it's happening in trillions of seconds. The same way, and we'll just go back in terms of, we're gonna now be the best light bulb builders in the world. So we're gonna build light bulbs. So what do we need? We basically need building blocks, glass, alloys, metal, gases, filaments, whatever we need, we've got to build this light bulb but the light bulb is totally useless totally useless without electricity and that electricity could be 10,000 kilometers away or 10,000 miles away as soon as you hit the switch the basically the light turns on but once again the light bulb is useless without the light switch being turned on or without the electricity so let's bring this now home in terms of what it, what this this look like in terms of a cell. So think of, once again, this happens in trillions of seconds. Um, if I asked you to think of your big toe right now, that happened in trillions of seconds, all, re all modulated by redox signaling molecules. So think of a cell, what do we need? We talked about this before, we need building blocks like vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, proteins, alkaline water, all different things to build this cell. But the cell, once again, is useless without some sort of communication or some sort of what I'm going to describe as electricity. And then within this electrical circuitry within the human body, known as redox signaling molecules, we then have genetic switches. So some genetic switches we want um, turned on, others we want turned off. For example, we want anti-inflammatory gen genetic switches turned on and we want inflammatory switches turned off. But in some people, it's the reverse. Some people, unfortunately, have their anti-inflammatory switches turned off, um, turned off and their inflammatory switches turned on, which we do not want. Um, so really important to understand that building blocks are important, but the redox signaling molecules allows the building blocks to actually work at a whole no another level. Also important to understand that redox signaling molecules have modulating or adaptogenic characteristics. So um, what they'll do is they'll adapt and create homeostasis in the body um, wherever they are needed. So for example, and this happens everywhere, I'm just going to use one example here to bring this home for you. And, and I'll talk about um, the immune system. And there are many different types of immune system cells in the body. So think of one particular immune system may be elevated or high, and the other part of the immune system may be deficient. Now, what re when we have adequate redox signaling molecules, it won't allow it to stay like this. For example, one high, one low. What it'll do is modulate that and bring it back to balance. But when we haven't got enough redox signaling molecules, it'll actually stay like this and actually create all different types of health challenges. 
So when we have enough redox signaling molecules, as mentioned, it'll bring the high one down and the low one up. And it does that all through the body, all through the body, which is really important to understand that it's got modulating or adaptogenic characteristics. And there are about, they say there's about 300 billion cells that actually die to be reborn every day, all modulated by redox signaling molecules. And our DNA changes shape 3 million times per second all modulated by redox signaling molecules. And they also say that the amount of um, uh, cells in our brain and the amount of um, neurons, et cetera, in the brain, when you look at the amount of that, of how many are there, would equate to more than the Milky Way, more than the stars in the galaxy. So we're an incredible being with incredible ways of healing. Re with our redox signaling molecules at the cellular skin level, um, what happens is everything starts to break down. What should normally happen is healthy young cells should be around the 28 days. And when we get to about 50, it's about 90 days. Where I am now, it might be 120, 150 days. Um, but the main theme I would like to get across here that as we age, our redox signaling molecules also affect the way we look because we actually end up with less and less of them. So that's around about a 200% decline, unfortunately. And without redox signaling molecules, you literally start to see the visible effects of aging. So we've gone through what are these intriguing molecules. They are native to the body. Think of electricity and think of modulators or adaptogenic to the human, human um, um, human being. So we've looked at where are these intriguing molecules, or sorry, what are these intriguing molecules? Now we're going to go to where are they made? And they're literally made within the cell in something called the mitochondria. So um, remembering the cell, we cannot see in the naked, naked eye. And we can, have we can have thousands of mitochondria per one cell. And they say there's about 50 trillion human DNA cells in our body. So let's look at the functions of the um, mitochondria. So remembering we've got 50 trillion cells and one of the functions that we've known for a long, long time um, is energy through cellular respiration. So this is where foods are broken down through the Krebs cycle and we end up making something called adenosine triphosphate. And we now know it also makes electricity or redox signaling molecules. And these redox signaling molecules should be balanced. And when they're balanced, we basically then have great health. And what the mitochondria does, it makes redox signaling molecules out of N, Cl, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, in our picture just there, we haven't got the N, but um, it should be in there, N, A. So we've got sodium, chloride, hydrogen, and oxygen. And what the mitochondria does, it rearranges these molecules in all different types of redox signaling molecules. So to, once again, just to understand this at another level, I want you to think of the car that you may own. So the most important part of the car is the motor. And the motor then basically provides the energy and it provides the electricity via the battery. So I want you to think of the mitochondria does the same thing. It provides the energy via, or the power uh, via ATP. And then it also provides the electricity um, via redox signaling molecules. And the mitochondria are the motors of every cell. And within each cell, you can have 100 or over 7,000 mitochondria per one cell. So why? Why do we have such a variation? So say, for example, we want to grow our fingernail. And say our fingernail, that's just rounded off to a million cells that makes up my fingernail. Now, I don't know, but let's just say it's a million. So how many mitochondria would we have in each cell. We, we don't need many mitochondria to grow our fingernails. So say it's the low number, 100. So how many mitochondria do we have in, um, within our fingernail? 100 times a million. Now that's a big number. But now say I want to be able to see. So I want to be able to see the more specialized cell we need and to have the energy and the power. And we also need then the redox signaling molecules to be able to do this we might then have to have up to 7,000 mitochondria per one cell. Now say, for example, we use the same mass, there's a million cells that make up the eye. So how many mitochondria do we need? We basically <coughs> need 7,000 times a, um, times, uh, what do we say, 7,000 times a million. That's a huge number, huge, huge number. 
So this is how this all actually pans out with regards to the mitochondria. So imagine your car was 7,000 motors. Imagine your car was 7,000 motors. And the mitochondria turbines spin at 1,000 times per minute, recharging billions of tiny chemical batteries. Everything we do, every thought, every, move is every movement is powered by these batteries, charged by these cellular power stations, all modulated by redox signaling molecules. Let's dig a little bit deeper in how these redox signaling molecules are made. So we're mainly made up of water and specifically we're mainly made up of salt water. And they say we're average, we're about average of 70%. The interesting thing about the statistic is the world is made up of salt water to about the same amount, 70%. Interesting statistic. So let's dig deeper again. As we age, the salt water in our body basically lessens. So when we're in mum's tum, for example, 90% of bub is salt water. Why? Because we need the energy, we need the redox signaling molecules, we need, the, we need all this from the mitochondria to be able to develop bub. Then bub is born and then it's about 80%. And the, the, the major thing I'd like to kind of um, get across here is that when you have more water in your body, you can make more redox signaling molecules, that's for sure, but you're more fluid, you're more agile, you're more, um, uh, you're more flexible. So think of a young child that may fall down some steps. They'll basically just get up, brush themselves off and uh, run away and they're fine. Whereas when we get to, as you can see the far right hand side there, when you get older, Unfortunately, you can have 50 to 55% of that's all you've got left in your salt water. And now what happens is you're more inflexible, you're more breakable, things basically hurt. So if you, if at the older age, if you fall down the steps, or even if I fell down the steps these days, I'd basically be lying there going, okay, I can move my toes, I can move my fingers, um, because we haven't got the fluidity in our body to be able to um, have the resistance or the fluidity to basically not have any serious injuries from a fall like that. So let's dig deeper again. Remember in so sodium um, chloride, hydrogen and oxygen, the mitochondria makes energy through ATP. And really important here, these redox signaling molecules, this electricity, they, they should be balanced, okay? They should be balanced. So think of it like reds and blues, and they should be balanced. When the reds are balanced, the body then is able to protect the cells by activating antioxidants. And the major antioxidant in the body is glutathione. And um, Julie, I'm sure we'll be talking more about glutathione as well later on. Really important, one of the most important antioxidants that we can have in our body. And then on the other side, the blues, the reactive oxygen species, they detect, repair and replace damaged cells using the immune system. And remembering this is all modulated or adapted through um, redox signaling molecules. So redox signaling molecules have na um, um, native messenger molecules that detect disturbances in the cells, protect the cells, and then they repair and replace damaged cells. So we've basically now gone through um, where are they made and they're made in the mitochondria. So now what we want to do now is go through how do they decline. So they mainly decline before, because of four main areas. And I'll get back to age shortly, but age is, number, is one of them. Two is what we eat and drink. And just over here, I've got um, a burger that unfortunately hasn't broken down. If you look there, it's got 2003. Um, and some of these um, fast food places, they, it's interesting. Um, um, anyway, I'll just leave it there. So be careful of what we eat and drink. But what we're talking about here is as we eat and drink the wrong foods, we're actually declining our redox signaling molecules. Stress is a big one as well. Stress will really, really bring down redox signaling molecules. And the big one that we can't really get away from today is chemicals and stealth infections. Stealth infections like viruses and bacteria. And of course, right now we're having a huge challenge with stealth infections, with infections that we um, yeah, know about viruses. So that, that number four is a big one today. So we'll just go back and talk about age a little bit more. So redox signaling molecules decline from puberty at a rate of 10% per decade. So what does this mean? Say puberty occurs at 15 and for easy mass, say someone is 65. Of the 50 trillion cells in the body, that means that 25 trillion cells 
can't heal, can't heal even when, no matter what you give them. Those 25 trillion cells can't receive the healing nutrients from food, vitamins, nutritional supplements, and herbs that are literally taking. So you can take all this stuff, you can take it all in, but at the age of 65, those 25 trillion cells are literally swimming around in a senile swamp. They just don't know what to do. They do not know what to do. They're bumping around going, hey, what are you doing? What do you think we should be doing? I don't know. I'm lost. I haven't got, a, I haven't got anyone telling me what to do. I need my redox signaling molecule, mate, to tell me what to do. And this is literally what happens in the body. So we've gone through those first three, and now we're going to look at what we spoke about. We talked about age, eat and drink, stress, and chemicals and, and hidden infections or stealth infections. So now what we're going to look at now is why haven't I heard of them? So I'm sure that a lot of us have heard of antioxidants. So who's heard of an antioxidant? Most of us. However, they were first discovered or research was first done in the 1920s. So 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. Have we heard of redox signaling molecules? Sorry, wrong. Have we heard of antioxidants? No. Maybe in the 70s, but definitely not back here. Definitely not back there. We're still smoking heaps back in these decades. 80s, yeah, we're starting to hear about it. 90s, definitely. Now we definitely do. So it took five to six decades, maybe even seven decades, for us to even hear about or understand anything about antioxidants. And this is one of the major reasons why we haven't heard of redox signaling molecules, because they were only first discovered in 1998 by these um, prestigious gentlemen. The Nobel Prize was given. And then from there, Nobel Prizes. Um, were given in cellular communication 11, 12, 13, 14, and it was given in other areas as well. So from there, redox signaling molecules, less than 0.1% currently know about redox signaling molecules, less than 0.1%. Isn't this fantastic for all you people who are listening? Because it's, it's kind of like, I want you all to think about this. I want you to think that we are medical doctors, okay? And we are back, way back before penicillin antibiotics. And people were dying from simple infections. And then antibiotics were discovered, penicillin was discovered. That was a game changer for the whole medical industry. Now, of course, we can talk about what's happening now, which is not so good with antibiotic resistant bacteria. That's, I'm not going to go there in this. Um, area. But the major thing with redox signaling molecules, that's the importance of understanding it now. We're so far ahead of the curve, it's unbelievable. And all you people who are listening and you've had people um, that you've spoken to, you're on this webinar because there's a loved one or a friend said, come along and have a listen. You are so just in, in, in gratitude. Um, yeah, thank you for being here. So science is saying this technology is possibly 10 to 15 years ahead of its time. Science is saying this technology is possibly more important than the discovery of penicillin. And science is saying this technology is possibly more important than the discovery of the DNA helix. Also, science is saying um, there's um, last year, the, uh, there was a, actually a World Congress on redox molecules where around about 20 um, uh, researchers and professors came together and basically shared their information about redox signaling molecules. And they're actually doing it again this year. Hopefully they're doing it then again this year. It might be um, postponed, um, but it's in France and they'll be basically talking about it as well. So we've gone through what are these intriguing molecules and um, we've gone through where are they made? Why do they decline? And why haven't I heard of them? The main thing is because of time. It's only been a very short period of time that these things were first discovered. And the next thing I'd just like to go through now is the science. So please, please don't go to Dr. Google um, for your research. Now, the interesting thing about this, even though I am saying that now, and even though I knew this way back when I was first introduced to this technology by Julie, our next presenter, um, what did I do? I went to Google and I looked it up at Google and Back then, when I first looked it up, I thought I saw a bunch of websites that, that basically were negative about 
redox signaling molecules. After I did all my research, I actually went back and then had another look. And you know, there was only two websites that actually had negative reviews about redox signaling molecules. And if you type in naturopath, chiropractors, even medical doctors, you'll get thousands of hits in the negative about each one of those um, areas as well. So to have only two websites that are negative, that's pretty good. But please don't go to Google. Don't do that. It basically is a waste of time. It's not where you go to. Where we need to go to is Google Scholar and you type in redox signaling molecules. You go to PubMed and you type in redox signaling molecules. And when you do that, you will then find that there are over 19,000 studies on redox signaling molecules that have been published in peer reviewed scientific and medical journals. And as said, please go to PubMed. And there's been over 1,500 books on redox signaling molecules. And I've got one of them here that I, I, I look at quite often and read. And a fantastic book, not exactly cheap, but a fantastic book. So when you look deeper into redox signaling molecules in terms of the oxidative stress, when there is oxidative stress, what happens now the body starts to rust. And when we haven't got enough of them, so this is stressing, when we haven't got enough redox signaling molecules, we oxidize on the left-hand side and we can then end up with hypertension, heart disease, Alzheimer's, macular degeneration, osteoarthritis, stroke, obesity, diabetes too. And if it's more the, um, uh, to do with the immune system, um, with to, to do with inflammation or inflammatory stress, which is the reactive side, it's, it's then we can end up with things like asthma, allergies, bowel issues, thyroid hormonal imbalances, autoimmune, um, cancer, and skin challenges. So this is when we haven't got enough. These are the things that can happen. Now, can someone have high blood pressure, and maybe being overweight with an autoimmune disease and maybe some bowel challenges, et cetera, or skin problems. Of course you can. You can have both sides of the coin when we haven't got enough redox signaling molecules in our body. The major theme with, I'm just about to finish, the major theme here is we need to get more redox signaling molecules into our body because when we do that, things can dramatically change. So what have we gone through? What are these... What are these intriguing molecules? Of course, they're called redox signaling molecules. Where are they made? They're made in the mitochondria. Why do they decline? They made a decline because of age um, and what we eat and drink, stress, and then chemicals and stealth infections. Why haven't I heard of them? The, main, the answer there is time, and we've gone through the science. Please don't go to Dr. Google. So where we're going to go to now is what if, what if we could supplement with these? And I would like to introduce now to Julie, and she will now go through her side of the presentation. So there we go, Julie, thank you. Great, thank you very much, Wayne. Thank you for that uh, wonderful explanation of uh, redox molecules. Okay. So uh, before I start, I really need to say that ASEA and Renew28 are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any medical condition or disease. They simply empower the body to heal naturally the way it is meant to do. So ASEA truly is 10 to 15 years ahead of its time. It is really new cutting edge technology, total new category of science, and was truly once thought to be impossible to actually stabilize these molecules outside of our body, let alone stabilize them long enough so that we can actually uh, supplement with them. It really is the biggest breakthrough that you and I will ever see in our lifetime, without a doubt. So this is my ASEA story. Um, it's not about this particular illness. This is a picture of me, but it was a long time ago. But basically um, the treatment for this actually really destroyed my immune system. I had a massive amount of treatment for this issue. And uh, prior to that, I had had a lot of abnormal cells uh, on my skin and literally every part of my body had had bits cut out of it. <laughs> and um, my doctor said after this treatment that that was going to get a lot worse because of the immune issue and they definitely did. Um, I had already had many things, this is just my face, but they were cut out of everywhere else as well. Um, and as my nose was healing, you can see the tape over there, they actually uh, had to cut more out of my forehead and you wouldn't think that was possible. And it actually wasn't. My doctor broke the sutures three times trying to pull that uh, H flap, the little thing that looks like a H at the top. Uh, trying to pull that together. So he said, well, we can't do those, um, these sorts of things anymore. So we'll have to try some other things. So 
this is one particular treatment um, that I had and what happens with this is it, it, uh, it's a cream and it attacks abnormal cells. So it's put all over the face and it only reacts where there are abnormal cells. So you can see they, they really did not stop coming. They kept coming with a vengeance. And I had that particular treatment several times. And this is the famous picture, I guess, that had me actually introduced to, um, to a seer. So again, this was a treatment that I did on my chest and my whole face and the parts where it reacted, I actually still had abnormal cells. And somebody called me when I put this picture on Facebook and uh, introduced me to a seer. And I have to say that I will be absolutely forever grateful for that phone call and nobody should ever wonder if they should call someone and talk to them about a seer because it truly, truly changed my life. So Wayne talked about all of these things before and basically my other health challenges go on for miles so I'm not going to go there tonight but this was me. There's nothing in that list that I did not have back then. I had every single one of them. I had had 12 major operations um, and I was very inflamed. And basically what a seer has done for me is uh, reduced my inflammation so it sorted out my inflammatory stress. Um, just because I've rebalanced my molecules. So a seer hasn't actually cured any of these things for me, but what it has done is put my body back in balance and I do not have these things anymore. So that is pretty incredible. So a seer redox goes way beyond nutrition and ingredients. A seer redox can do what no other product can do because it contains what no other product contains. And that of course is redox molecules. Your body is the most complex communication network. And when that gets out of balance or the communication is uh, discontinued, we have trouble. So imagine if you have a house on fire and you have a strong cell signal, you can call in the fire brigade and they will come and, and hopefully save the house. But what happens if you don't have a strong cell signal? The house burns down. And sadly, that is what is happening today with our bodies because we don't have enough of these molecules. And in this case, the fire truck is the vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants that we are using. But a CA redox is the thing that we really need for the communication. So a CA redox is the only supplement in the world to provide the body with the resources that are so, so, so critical for cell signaling, allowing our bodies to achieve full health and healing potential. While the rest of the world is focusing on the fire truck, a seer is actually focusing on the signal. They are very different things. A seer has funded millions of dollars of research. And if anybody tells you that we have a bottle of salt water, you can tell them that Bioagilix Laboratory certifies that our products contain active redox molecules. This is a large company and they could not do that if it didn't. It is as simple as that. And of course, Tourette Laboratories uh, is a genetics laboratory and they have also done some research and you can look up all of this research yourself. Genes contain the blueprint to our health and Wayne talked a little bit about that. And sadly today, through all the things that he talked about, our genes are turning off and on at a rapid rate when they should be the other way around, sadly. So ASEA has been in, actually shown in independent clinical studies to increase genetic expression by up to 31% in five key areas of health, immune system response. Holy, do we really need that right now? If you're wondering about sharing a seer in, in the climate that we have at the moment, wow, you shouldn't be because we have an amazing opportunity now to help a lot of people. Everybody needs a seer. Everybody needs to have their immune system working to the best of its ability. Another area is inflammatory response, cardiovascular health, uh, digestive health, and hormone modulation. Independent clinical studies prove that all of these things were increased by up to 31%. The other thing it showed that one of these genes influences another 15 genetic pathways, so the EGR1 gene, that is pretty amazing. It affects things like serotonin receptor signaling, circadian rhythm, which is related to sleep, which is why a lot of people uh, have better sleep uh, when they take a seer. Human thyroid stimulating hormone, insulin signaling, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, 
That's to do with growth and maintenance of brain cells. But the really, really important one here is the NRF2 pathway. As Wayne said, he talked about antioxidant health. Oxidative stress is our number one health risk factor today. And the NRF2 pathway is critical for the production and activation of your own master antioxidants, glutathione and superoxide dismutase. And taking a CR, independent clinical studies have shown that it can increase this by up to 800%. And of course, your body's adaptogenic, as, as Wayne said, so it's not going to do that unless you need it, but it can increase it by up to 800%. And that is truly amazing. So we have an up to 31% increase in genetic expression in five key areas of health. We have up to 800% um, increase in antioxidant deficiency, pretty amazing. And of course, we also have the improvement in athletic endurance. So a CEA Redox is empowering athletes all over the world to experience improvements in endurance, strength, recovery, mental stamina. Um, and it is made from saline solution. So it is not a banned substance. We have um, Olympic athletes that take this product during the Olympic Games. And of course, mice drinking a CEA. This was a clinical study. Mice drinking a CEA for seven days ran 29% further to exhaustion. Now that is pretty amazing in itself if you're a scientific person. And as Alan Noble himself says, mice do not just run 29% further for nothing. And of course, these are some of our amazing athletes and we have many all over the world. Olympic swimmers, triathletes, Ironman, you name it, we have it. So quickly just move on to our Renew Advanced range. Uh, we have a beautiful uh, skincare range. Uh, it is uh, clinically and dermatologically tested, suitable for all skin, uh, no animal-based products, totally cruelty-free, no GMOs, no parabens, no sulfates, no artificial colors. As you can imagine from those pictures before, my skin is incredibly tricky when it comes to putting anything on it. And I can use, for the first time in my life, I can actually use a whole skincare range. I have never been able to do that before, Asia. Uh, one of my favorite products is the Foaming Cleanser. It is absolutely amazing. But again, scientifically proven results. Uh, Dermatest gave our product a Renew 28, a five star clinical uh, rating for all of these things. Re reduction in wrinkle, increase in elasticity. You know, you can see all of those things there. Quite amazing, quite amazing what this product is capable of. Another independent clinical study done by Stevens and Associates. This one uh, showed a couple of things that are really impressive. 16% faster skin cell turnover after only 30 days when you apply Renew 28 uh, twice a day. And the other one that is very incredible is the 49% um, blood flow increase, skin blood flow increase within 15 minutes of the first application. And then 96 hours into the study of continuing to improve it, uh, to uh, apply it, 55% increase in blood flow. Imagine what that's doing, helping things to, uh, to get better, <laughs> basically. Uh, and this is why many people report the benefits of applying Renew 28 three times in five minutes to an area of discomfort. Um, 90 to 95% of people will have a decrease in their discomfort or um, increase in their mobility if they use Renew 28 three times in five minutes. And a, a Dermatest did a 12-week clinical study on, of Renew28 on cellulite. And you can see from these pictures, there is quite a drastic improvement. In fact, it's actually nearly 16% improvements in the, parent, in the appearance of cellulite. That is pretty amazing. And here are some um, photos of Renew28 being used twice a day over just 28 days. And that, um, yeah. The pictures tell the story. There is no question about that. And of course, seeing is believing. You can see the difference in all, all sorts of things, the scars, you know, the wrinkles, the saggy necks, the redness in the skin. Um, it is truly an amazing product. Of course, we also have um, some nutritional products called a Ciavia. We have a range, there are four of them. These products are, um, not necessarily available in all countries and they are NFR here in Australia, which is not for retail. So we have to order them from America. But we have um, a Ciavia source, which is a whole food micronutrient complex, a Ciavia biome, which is a full spectrum probiotic, 
uh, C of the L Life Max, which is an active lifestyle and vitality formula, amazing product if you look at the ingredients, and a C of the Omega, which is our newest one, which is uh, oil and oil, absolutely incredible native heart and brain complex. They are truly incredible products when it comes to having the material that your body needs. The science behind these products is quite amazing. So we live and die at the cellular level. Our bodies are in a constant state of breakdown. And if you think about our um, nutritional supplements as the material that our body needs, then you think of ASEA Redox as the labor that the body needs. ASEA is the only company in the world to offer the material and the labor to get the work done. So um, I just wanna go over quickly uh, very quickly how you can uh, join if you're new to ASEA and I'm talking about I'm not talking about the business side of things here Bart's going to do that in a second and he does that amazingly but if you're just uh, wanting to take this for personal use um, you can start uh, with a pack that has um, a case of ASEA which is a month supply two tubes of our fabulous Renew 28 and six of those sample tubes for as little as $377 in Australia, I know there's some international people on here tonight, but this is for Australia, $377, um, including GST and postage. Um, you also have the opportunity to share this with friends and family as well if you come in uh, with a personal pack. So guys, um, you know, really that's, that's an incredible, incredible offer. So um, I'm gonna finish up now and I'm gonna hand you over to Bart, but my favorite, favorite saying with ASEA is may you never know what you are preventing. So uh, we're going to um, actually hear from Bart again now. Uh, Bart is a triple diamond with ASEA, an absolutely incredible, incredible leader. And um, he's going to talk about the company, the timing and the business model. So I'm just gonna stop my share and hand over to Bart to finish off. Thank you, Julie. Let me just uh, go to my screen share here. Perfect. Um, I always love hearing hearing your story and what a miracle this uh, this product has been for you in so many ways, uh, Julie. So thank you again for uh, going through that that portion. I just uh, I could hear that over and over again. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> so, look, one of the things that um, one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys tonight is. Before I could get involved with a, a company, and look, let me just tell you, I've been involved with the network marketing profession for 26 years now. Um, gosh, when I heard about this in 1994, I had all sorts of, of um, apprehensions and I had all sorts of ideas about what network marketing was. And uh, I tell you, I absolutely love this profession. It is so fantastic to be able to work from home, to work with who you want, where you want, and when you want. <laughs> But there are some things, regardless of whether it's a, a network marketing business or whatever the company is, there's certain things that I needed to know. Because the fact is, is that you could have the very best product in the world. And quite frankly, I believe that we do. Um, from what you've heard from, from Dr. Pickstone and what you've heard from, from Julie, I hope that you can see why experts, the, the guys in the white coats, why they're calling this the most significant health breakthrough of our lifetime. Uh, this is really, truly amazing, guys. But... The fact is, is that we could have the best product in the world, but unless you've got the right combination of some other really important things, you have nothing. And what I'm talking about specifically is you've got to make sure that, you know, who is it that you're in business with? What about the integrity of the company? Is the company solid? Is it stable? The last thing I wanted to do was to get involved with a company that was going to be here today and gone tomorrow or deal with a company who was going to, you know, change the compensation plan on me and, and do some things that may not, uh, that could jeopardize the, the longevity of the company. And the other thing is, is about the timing of the company. So I'd like to just address some of these things that are very, very important, uh, crucial in my mind. Um, look, I, because of the background that I had had in this particular industry, this profession, I was, uh, I was given a unique opportunity and that was to fly to Salt Lake City and meet the founders of the company. And I was so uh, blown away by, by what I heard and what I saw. But uh, let me just introduce, introduce you to these two guys. Uh, Virtus Norton was the vice president of strategy for Kraft Food. He ran a $37 billion a year company. This is, um, this is Virtus and his son, Tyler Norton. Now, Virtus was truly one of the most successful, one of the brightest business minds in, uh, in the world, quite frankly. So 
uh, he tried to retire numerous times. It's always uh, interesting to hear his story and to hear his background. Um, he is literally a giant when it comes to you know business strategy and doing things in in a way that really is uh, is for the better betterment of everybody. Um, Verse tried to retire several times. I kept inviting him, begging him to come back. So finally, at age 68, he retired. And it was at this time he had also taught his son, uh, Tyler Norton, uh, business strategy as well. So instead of, you know, as a kid, he wasn't necessarily throwing baseballs around or footballs, but it was more teaching him business strategy was a little bit different. So Tyler actually became a corporate, a Fortune 50 executive in the financial industry. Um, and so here's two very powerful guys. Well, there was a company called Medical Discoveries Inc. that, um, that had a technology, they ran into some problems. And when Julie was going through um, uh, resetting her computer, I shared a little bit of that with you, but let me just recap quickly. This company had a technology that involved redox signaling molecules, but they, they were struggling with their business model. Uh, they had raised a, a lot of money and they couldn't quite get the product to market. They asked Virtus if uh, offered a, first to be on the board of this biotech company and uh, um, and he tr tried to help them raise some money. Anyway, long story short, they ended up, uh, Virtus ended up acquiring the technology when this company um, couldn't sustain the business model they were in. In fact, I'll just recap this very quickly. Uh, they were trying to get a drug application for this product and you can't get a drug application unless you can prove something called LD50. LD stands for lethal dose and 50 is where 50% of the laboratory animals will die at a particular dose. And so um, no matter, so they spent $5 million on toxicity research trying to get this drug application. And uh, no matter how much they gave these little, uh, these little mice or rats or whatever it was, they, uh, they couldn't kill them. They just got healthier. <laughs> and so um, needless to say, um, Virtus, uh, through a series of events, ended up acquiring this technology. Uh, that's a very interesting story, and I would encourage you to go to a seagenesisvideo.com and actually listen to that story. But what actually happened was Virtus actually um, hired an atomic medical physicist because he said, you know, I think this product is actually far uh, more significant than what they even realized it is. And they knew that it was pretty big. They had done some remarkable, um, some remarkable research where they had uh, uh, found that that this product helped with blood disorders and with cystic fibrosis and and uh, um, anti you know antibacterial and viral. There was really some amazing things that they had. Anyway, what happened was Virtus and Tyler they hired an atomic medical physicist who helped them to stabilize these molecules even further. And at this point in time, they had taken and put in forty people on in a test group because when you drink a CA, you're not exactly drinking it because you want to have a tasty beverage. You're drinking it because of the health benefits. It doesn't taste, uh, it doesn't taste horrible. It just doesn't taste good. It ta if you haven't take it, tasted it before, it tastes uh, a little bit like pool water. It has a little bit of a, a salty chlorinated taste to it, um, even though it's just made from salt and water. But um, what happened is they took a test group of 40 people and they said, well, you know, will these people drink it? Will they um, use it if there was a perceived benefit? Well, what actually happened was this, and they gave them free access to the product. And they came back uh, two, months, two months later to discover that this test group of 40 had turned into a group of 135 people in 20 different countries. Now, the important thing to note is that, uh, is that six of these people in this test group were at a state of health where the doctors had told them to, get the, to go home and get their affairs in order. That there was nothing more that they could do for them. Well, these people were having tremendous benefits. It was giving them hope again. Uh, some of these people were friends and family of Virtus and Tyler, people that had uh, people that had young families and so forth that were in very serious challenge. Well, I want to just tell you that initially, uh, the idea that Virtus's idea was that he would take this technology, perfect it, develop it, and then sell it to a pharmaceutical company. So it was uh, about the same time after this test group had been going for about two months that uh, they actually met with a company called uh, Bar Pharmaceutical. They flew into Salt Lake City. Um, they met with the, with the scientists and the executives. They did their, their tests and came back and gave the nod to the uh, executives and said they've really got what they say they have, which is stabilized molecules. And they said, Virtus, we're going to make you an offer that's so big that you won't want to go anywhere else. They wanted to avoid a bidding war. But, um, but they said there's one challenge. And Virtus said, well, you know, what's, you know, he said, there's one, one condition. He said, well, what's that? And they said, you're going to have to shut it down. And Virtus said, I just, I don't understand what you mean. Uh, he said, 
they said, they, they said, you've got 135 people on the product. We're going to take, we'll take the seven pallets of research. We'll take all the equipment, everything, but you need to take all those people off the product today. And when Virtus explained that there were people that were dependent on this technology, uh, their attitude was, uh, let them die. People deal with their challenges all sorts of different ways. Uh, uh, just let them die. Well, because of the integrity of these gentlemen, uh, Virtus and Tyler and Dr. Samuelson, they said no to Big Pharma. And it was on that day that they uh, politely escorted them out of the, uh, from that meeting, said that they'd think about it. But it was on that day that they made the decision that this product was going to be marketed via word of mouth and that they were going to make sure that this was available to you and to me and to the general public. And so um, just love these two guys. Um, I had the opportunity to fly to Salt Lake City, as I mentioned. And this is, uh, this is Virtus and myself and a couple of other gentlemen that, that uh, some of you know, uh, Mal Sword and Dan Doyle also flew there uh, shortly after. This is the gentleman, uh, Ed Weens, who is our sponsor in this business and several other people who, had, who I had been involved in this profession with from, from a previous company that had found a new home. I got to tell you that um, this is a picture of Dr. Gary Samuelson. He's the atomic medical physicist who did what literally for two decades um, science declared was impossible, which was to stabilize these molecules in a longer term sort of fashion. Uh, and I, I remember, and this is what I want to share with you. When I flew to Salt Lake and I, I shook, how do I, how do I explain this? Have you ever, have you ever met somebody, you've shaken their hand and, and you just know that there's something very special about that person. I mean, like deep uh, at a soul level. Well, that's, that's, that's Virtus Norton. And also it's Dr. Samuels. And I was just so impressed with these guys. I remember sitting in the boardroom as they were uh, giving us a presentation and I had goosebumps everywhere. I said, these are the kind of people that I really truly want to align myself with, that I want to associate myself with. And I also, I got it. I understood what this technology was. And so that feeling I got, I had goosebumps everywhere. I just knew that this was, this was my home. This was my mission. This is what I wanted to share with other people. And, and, and I, in fact, I knew that every single person that I knew needed to know about this technology. I could care less whether they wanted to join me in a business with this. They needed to know about this technology because I cared about them. So a few other things that I wanted to share with you because of Virtus's uh, business savvy, uh, this company has been financially, it's financially uh, stable. It's rock solid as a matter of fact. Um, last year they did uh, 178 billion or million dollars in revenue. Uh, that's in U.S. dollars. They own their own manufacturing facility, which you can see right here. So they have co total control. In fact, they've got 19 distribution centers globally. Um, right now, sales are projected to be a billion dollars over in the next in the next five to seven years. So, particularly when you're thinking about timing, that's pretty pretty special to think about where we are right now uh, in terms of positioning. The current annual capacity. So you can see, last year they did 178. Uh, million dollars. This manufacturing facility can actually manufacture a billion dollars worth of product right from there. So they're well and truly positioned for massive growth and expansion. Now, I mentioned timing. To, uh, you know, in real estate, they say it's location, location, location. Well, in, uh, in business, you know, it's, it's about timing quite often. So, you know, I, I can tell you, you don't have to have a crystal ball to see where this is going. This is a massive technology. People need to know about what we've got our hands on. We're in a place that you might call post-startup and pre-momentum. Literally for the last 10 years, ASEA has had literally year-on-year -year growth. But for the last 10 years, they've done um, all sorts of validation. The things that Julie, that Julie just went through in terms of the, the testing and validation of, of this product and technology. And also Dr. Pickstone had talked about how it really takes, you know, why maybe you haven't heard about this technology before, because it takes a while for people to understand this. No one, you know, 10 years ago, no one had ever heard about redox signaling molecules. This is absolutely brand new. And quite frankly, it's, it still is. We are in really, uh, you could say pre-momentum, or I would actually say early momentum stage. Now, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> I, lo I love this picture, maximum job security. Sometimes for things to change, we've got to make some changes. And, you know, quite often we're just stuck on these treadmills of life and we're afraid to look sideways. We're afraid to look, you know, up or down or back or forth. And uh, until all of a sudden, sometimes a crisis might come along and we think, hey, I need to make some changes. But, um, you know, if, if, you, if you've got a job and you love what you do, 
that's fantastic. But for a lot of people, job stands for just over broke. Some, a lot of people are making just enough money to keep them where they're at, and they can't really get off this treadmill. And so what you really need to do is you need to look at this dude that's, uh, that's right here climbing out. Who is it that's gotten out of this rat race? And I would encourage you to, to, uh, to really think about that. There's right now a lot of people that have gotten thrown, been thrown off their treadmills too. They're looking for opportunities, literally praying for an answer. And to tell you the truth, that's where, that's where I was at when, I was, uh, when we were introduced to this. We needed an answer. We were looking for something where we could literally create a vehicle for our family. Um, and so really for things to change, um, sometimes we need to make a change. And sometimes making a change can be kind of scary, but uh, I would just encourage you to really th think about that. I absolutely love this profession, this industry that we're involved with. Um, you know, it really is a, about changing our thinking. You can't solve a problem with the same thinking that created it. So we just need to be open-minded to some changes. Now, let me just share with you a little bit in terms of the business model. Um, if you look, my previous background before being involved with network marketing, I was the business representative for the United States Chamber of Commerce. I had to work in a really uh, rough territory, uh, Maui, Hawaii. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I know you probably all feeling sorry for me, but it was, a, it was a great place to work. And I felt like I was doing something to kind of protect and defend free enterprise. But it was interesting because every year I'd go back, I was just amazed to see how many people would be out of business the following year. And, uh, but um, I'm, I'm getting, I digress a little bit. I'm getting off track slightly. Um, this slide is really about market channel effectiveness. My point here is, is that if you ask anybody, what is the very best form of marketing? Without question, everybody knows this. It's word of mouth. So you can look at all these other ways, but, but the truth is, is network or word of mouth is the very best form of marketing. And that's what network distribution is, is word of mouth marketing. Uh, it's fantastic because we can work from home. We can work with who we want, where we want, when we want. We don't have all of the overhead. In fact, I've done this many times where I've taken a whiteboard. And if I was to ask you specifically, if you could identify what the perfect business model is, what would that look like? And if I was writing things down, if we had a big group of people here, you would, people would be talking about having no employees or low overhead, being able to have, um, you know, not a, a particular local area, low startup, um, just being able to do something where you can make a difference, working with who you want, where you want, when you want. All those kind of things exactly identify what we have. And truly, I think, uh, especially when you can do something where we're making a difference and with such impact. Now, let me just go back to, my, uh, to this slide. Now, let's just take a look at the market that we're involved with. Um, we are currently in 33 countries. Now, when you, uh, I, I am so grateful that Virtus has such a, such as a good business savvy and his son Tyler Norton and the, the team that they brought on. Because when you actually open up 33 different countries, I want you to imagine all of the different uh, languages that you have to support, all the different shipping, the distribution, the cultures, the regulatory uh, things that they go through. It's a pretty big deal. Um, uh, but in, in these countries where we're in, uh, Wayne mentioned this before, literally less than 0.01% of the people of the population even has a clue what this technology is, and it is significant. We've just opened up some new markets, Singapore, Thailand, Taiwan, Philippines, Hong Kong, and Malaysia. The Asian markets are, are enormous. Uh, people are very open-minded to this technology. They're looking, people are looking for natural, convenient ways of improving their health. And there is literally nothing that you can do at a higher level than what we've got to improve your health. Now, here's how the distribution models, model works. So, for example, um, when I heard about this technology, I mentioned everybody I know needed to know about this. One of the people that I, I thought of immediately was a, uh, a friend of mine named Dan Doyle, who um, was dealing with some very serious health challenges. As a matter of fact, he was in one of those states where uh, he was told to get his affairs in order after going through two and a half years of, of horrendous treatments. Well, he knew people. Um, one of the people was in another photo that I shared with you, uh, Mal Sword. I knew other people that needed to know about this, Sepp and Sean and Brent and Margaret and Daya and all these people that were, were, my, were our good friends. Well, they knew people who knew people who knew people. And so what's cool about this is, is, uh, is a SIA takes care of all the things that I, that I don't want to take care of, which is all the uh, em handling employees and, and paying checks and doing all the regulation. We just get to talk with people. And 
basically you're creating distribution channels. You can create an American distribution channel. You can create an Asian distribution channel, European, Australian, uh, globally, just by sharing this technology and helping them to do the, to do the same. So let me, uh, let me just share with you something here in terms of an income. This is an income disclosure statement for 2019. Um, basically, ASEA rewards us. There's eight different ways that we get paid, and I'm not going to take the time to go through those eight different ways. But as you share this with more people, uh, you achieve different positions in the company. So uh, director, director 300, director 700, bronze, silver, gold, and so forth. And you can see this is the, uh, at these levels, um, showing that if someone qualifies at these levels for each week of the month, what the, uh, what the low income is, what the average income is, well, what the high income level is at all these different uh, positions. But let's just, let's just analyze a couple of these. Even Director 300, which is really just, uh, it's not hard to obtain at all. Uh, again, a C instead of spending millions of dollars in radio, television, newspaper advertisement, they want to pay us for that word of mouth advertisement instead. So here's a couple of the 11 uh, of the different levels, director, bronze, uh, diamond, uh, triple diamond. And you can see that uh, and the ambassador ranks in a, and above. So even at the director 300, um, would it make a difference in your life if you could earn an extra, you know, five or $600 or at the bronze level? Now in terms of time frame, um, people are hitting this level uh, in, you know, some, some less and some more, but uh, for someone who's actually working this, Anywhere from you know two to four months uh, is pretty common. Uh, the ambassador ranks, uh, you can see the potential is pretty enormous. These are monthly incomes. Um, now let me just share with you kind of a perspective on this. If you're if you're looking for some other ways of generating an income, or if you know people are who are, uh, there are two. In fact, I would say right now that there are two things that are on people's minds more than anything else right now. One is how do we maintain the highest level of health? What can we do to really maintain and build our immune system and our body's health? And also, how do we create a sustainable income for our family? How can we provide for our family? So uh, when we look, you know, sometimes life can be a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Sometimes it can throw you some real curves. <laughs> and I like the Chinese symbol of, uh, you know, where um, the yin and the yang, sometimes crisis actually means opportunity is, uh, is what they say. But you know, what I'd like to do is to, is to suggest taking the emotional roller coaster ride out of it. You just realize when you, I realized when I started this, that some people were going to say yes, some people were going to say no, and it didn't matter to me. I wasn't going to be emotionally attached to whether they decided to join me or not. I was going to have a long-term perspective because I understood where this was going. One of the ways that you can do that is to have a long, long-term perspective is to have a, a clear vision on what you'd like to create in your life. Um, sometimes um, it's always a great idea to have a vision board. And these are just some photos that I've, that are, are dreams or visions of, you know, that I've had. Uh, being able to um, later this, uh, this year, depending on what goes on, uh, Tanzania is on the cards. Uh, um, having a beautiful home. This is a designer that I really like. Being able to travel. Um, uh, being able to go to Bora Bora or something like that, but at the same time, being able to do something where you can absolutely make a difference in other people's lives too. And what I mean by that is not only with the products, but also ASEA contributes to a company called, or a group called the Advancing, they've created, I should say, the Advancing Life Foundation, which uh, deals with, um, one of the things that they've done is they've been involved with Operation Underground Railroad, which is um, donating significantly to help against child trafficking, which is, uh, and slavery, which is uh, enormous. So look, one, I, I just want to share with you a perspective. When you, uh, when you talk with people, we just kind of look at it this way. Um, there's three types of people. There's red apples, green apples, and rotten apples. Red apples are the kind of people who are open-minded. They're looking for new and interesting things. They're the kind of people that you'd, if you're going to go out to a restaurant or a movie or a cafe or something, you'd pick up the phone and that's who you'd invite. Uh, people who are, are interesting and fun. Um, you've got green apples. They've got lots and lots of questions. We can, we've got lots of answers, but they tend to take a little bit more time. And then you've got your rotten apples, which quite frankly doesn't mean they're rotten people. It just means that they're not ready yet. Um, truth is, is, I was a rotten apple for a long time. I had actually been approached about this technology multiple times, almost uh, more times than I care to admit. Uh, and it just wasn't the right timing for me. I just didn't understand it. I didn't get it. Uh, and, but sometimes it's just a matter of timing for people. So if you just consider that you're looking for red apples, 
Uh, one way to kind of think about this is if there was a big apple orchard and I said, hey, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars for every, or $10,000 for every red apple that you bring back, you're not gonna go out and look for rotten apples and try to beg them to turn into red apples and you're certainly not gonna be, you know, focusing your time as much on the green apples, you're gonna be looking for red apples. And so it's pretty simple. Red apples tend to find other red apples and ultimately we're just creating something that looks a little bit like this. People that wanna help other people, people that wanna make a difference. And uh, look, I started off in the beginning with this, uh, with this will. And I just like, I, this is, I show, shared with you in the beginning what my will looked like when I started this company uh, with ASEA but I just wanna share with you what it looks like now. Uh, as far as a career, a C is a 10 out of 10. I think this is the most compelling business in the world today. I just can't think of anything where we can help other people make as big of a difference, have so, many, so much fun with people who, are, uh, who want more out of life. Financially, um, things, there's always room for improvement. That's why it's not a 10, but uh, we, just, we just couldn't be happier because um, we do have security. And, uh, and that's, that's important. Personal growth, that's one thing that we focus on is really helping, and we encourage that with our, with our team is, is helping people to grow and to become and to be more. Um, health is uh, pretty fantastic to be on the, the most, an amazing technology, great family, uh, relationships, even, even better. Social life is fantastic with the people that we get to associate with ASEA, and, uh, and attitude is, um, I mean, look, we all have some ups and downs, but life's pretty good. The point being is that if, uh, if you were to roll this wheel down the road, it would certainly roll down roll a whole lot smoother than the original wheel that I showed you. So if you're looking for more in your life, uh, in any one of these areas, you know, perhaps a C is a vehicle that could help you to create that because there is an amazing product, amazing people, and a great opportunity. Uh, five years ago, it was uh, September, September 2014 that uh, we were actually introduced to this. And we have been able to live so many of our, our dreams and experiences. These are just a few of them, some of the travels and, and things that we've been able to, to do together. Um, and this was the first trip was Virtus Norton, uh, an incentive trip to Cancun. Um, in fact, I'll mention that because the sea actually wants to send you to beautiful places uh, with incentive trips as well as you build and grow your, grow your team. Um, I feel so blessed and grateful to be able to do this with my uh, beautiful wife, Melissa. Um, we enjoy riding motorcycles, and yes, she does ride too. She's, a, she's an amazing rider. <laughs> and uh, so, um, you know, we just love to experience life and, and, and so forth. So here's, so let's just take a look at this. Where do you see yourself? Uh, if you see yourself just as a customer, guess what? That's great. Not a problem at all. It's so easy to set up your own account, be able to get the product wholesale instead of retail. You can be a preferred customer if you wish, or you can pay retail if you want. But uh, my suggestion is just, just set up an account and get on the auto ship program so that you can share it with other people too. If you wanna uh, build a part-time income, you know, let's say an extra $500,000 a month, uh, we might encourage you to get what uh, would be a business pack instead of a personal pack. Uh, this would be a little bit of product for, it's actually not a lot of products, a little bit of product to use, maybe a little bit to share uh, or some product for your family. And then what, uh, what Melissa and I chose to do is to get an entrepreneur pack because we wanted to create a lifestyle income. Um, it's not a big investment. Uh, Julie kind of went through some of those packages beforehand, um, but we wanted to have some product for, for her and for me. We wanted to have some to demonstrate, uh, to share and to sell. So, um, and so that's how we started. Uh, I just want to wrap up with, with this slide. And this is, uh, this is Virtus. This is a statement that he made at one of his recent conventions. He said, we're at the start of something big with great purpose and right now is the moment that we begin influencing the future. We can change the world. Uh, I, I am so grateful, we're so grateful to be associated with this incredible company, uh, these amazing people. I'd like to thank, uh, thank Dr. Pickstone and Wayne for uh, joining us on this presentation uh, tonight. And uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.